Ah, yes, hi. Uh, Daniel here again. So our Enneagram summary continues with type 8, the challenger or the boss. Uh, two good descriptions, they fit. Uh, this is now part of the instinctive triad, they call it. So this is, a, you know, a very physical uh, triad anyway. Action, call it an action triad. So this could be... Uh, extroverted sensing on the Myers-Briggs, like ESTP, ESTJ, some of those might have the type A energy we're looking for. Uh, in um, astrology, this is Mars energy. This is action energy. This is fire signs uh, like Aries or maybe Sag. Uh, not so much Leo. Leo is a little bit more like a type 3 energy. Those two have some things in common. Uh, I'll, I'll cover that in a sec, I think. Uh, my oldest son is an eight. Uh, he plays guitar, and I could upload a video to provide a taste of the eight guitar energy. Be ready. <laughs> You'll know. Uh, eights are not meek people. Uh, these are physical people uh, with a lot of fire and drive who want to really make a, make a mark on the territory in a unique and rebellious way. Uh, they have things in common with the three, as I said. They both want to be winners. They both want to get to the top. But the three is image conscious, really, really wants the respect and admiration of everybody and all their peers. Uh, the eight doesn't give a damn. The eight is a, a rebel and they'll like it or not. Someone's getting served. They uh, don't care if anybody likes it. They'll get there. Uh, but they're also good to have on your team. These are also really great protectors and uh, uh, good uh, good muscle to have in your organization somewhere. Uh, as they can be, as I said, they have a lot of leadership, so they can be band leaders too. Um, at their best, I think that might be where they are. Individualistic, they're charismatic, they're rebellious, um, and they'll get there. They'll get you there. At their worst, they can be bullies or tyrants. I mean, every single point on the Enneagram has its best and its worst. You know, there's no one that's better than the other. <laughs> they all have their good and crummy points, uh, but those are some of the ones about the eight in general. Um, I think as far as arts go and music goes, um, some good examples might be, I, I think of real badass heavy metal bands like Slayer and Pantera. Uh, when I think of like eight energy, I think of Dimebag Daryl's guitar playing that, you know, really, really aggressive, but really individualistic and not playing by anybody else's rule book but his own, but also really, you know, really fiery and inventive. Uh, I also think that in another style of music might be like outlaw country sort of has that same sort of energy as well. It's not as physically intensive maybe, but there's definitely that drive behind uh, the songwriting process of people like maybe Steve Earle or Johnny Cash that, again, really rebellious kind of, Real, uh, real blunt in your face, but really, you know, really great in its own way. Um, I, I even think that some of the gangsta rap, you know, like uh, Biggie Smalls or Tupac has that energy. You know, watch these guys on stage. They've got it, uh, these MCs. Uh, I think guitar-wise, I'm a guitarist, so I talk about guitar a lot. I would say guitar shredders like uh, maybe Yngwie Malmsteen or Zach Wilde or somebody like that. And I mentioned Dimebag earlier. Um, they have that eight energy, that this is the way I do it, like it or lump it. And it's almost always loud, the volume's up, and it's quite in your face. And it's wonderful <laughs> that we wouldn't change a thing. Um so we'll uh, probably finish up this series with number nine next time. See you then.